His Excellency President Adam Abaro on Wednesday received Riders for Health team at the State House in Banjul. This came as a relationship the government and the association have shared. The purpose of their visit is to strengthen the relationship with the government. Riders for Health's presence in the Gambia was in 1989 when Barry Coleman, co-founder, was acting as a consultant to Save the Children Fund and World Health Organization, examine motorcycles used in the Gambia and the basis of a new training management system was established. After a closed-door meeting with the president, Mr. Barry Coleman gave an overview of their meeting with the head of state. Uh, a very long relationship. We uh, started working here in 1989. Uh, and we came because everywhere there's a problem in reaching rural people with anything. And that includes healthcare, and this is all over Africa, actually all over many parts of the world. And so we were aware that people have often been donated vehicles, for example, motorcycles, even bigger and more expensive vehicles, but were not, those vehicles were not reaching people and were not lasting for their natural economic and mechanical lives. So something was wrong with that. So we started to think what could be wrong and how could that be put right? Because if people are waiting for care in rural communities and not getting it, that is uh, an almost simple situation where those of us can put that right and think about it, uh, do not do so. Uh, this is an important moral question, not just a mechanical question. This is what are, what are we like as human beings if we don't look after our fellow human beings properly? Barry Father said when they started in the Gambia was based on moral principle and it's not a profit gain organization and are specifically into the mechanical aspect of delivery. So Riders for Health, when we started working here, it's based on that moral principle. It's not uh, a for-profit undertaking. It's not for profit. It is, its sole purpose is the delivery of health care. We don't do the health care. We, we do the mechanical stuff that uh, allows that to be delivered. And His Excellency, the President, is well aware of that. And he has talked to us on a number of occasions and encouraged his ministers to take this work seriously and to listen carefully when necessary to us because we are the experts on it. If you try to run vehicles in a haphazard way, they will fail and the consequences will be very serious. He finally commended the president for supporting Riders for Health in the development of the country, more so in the area of mechanical health service delivery, particularly in the rural area. Riders for Health, Africa Country Officer Olukayode Ajay, thanked the president and his government for maintaining and taking the services of the organization seriously. As Barry said, we started from here, and Gambia, the Gambia government is the first government in Africa to actually outsource its transport system for health to an organization. Um, we are currently, two countries are currently asking us if they can come and see how it's been done here so they can replicate this system in their respective country. We are very grateful to His Excellency, President Barrow, for having us and for maintaining and taking these services um, seriously for the Gambian people. Thank you. Riders for Health is a non-governmental organization that specializes in supplying, managing and maintaining vehicles for health focus organization in African countries, where our roads are in poor condition or simply non-existed and budget are tight. With their help, the Gambia became the first African country to offer countrywide health coverage and has been delivering health service to the population since 1999. Isetukoli, 
Gamian Talent TV News.